This is my interview with Joan Rivers. Please welcome to Atlantic City Plugged In a truly amazing woman. She has a reality show on TV Land, a new documentary set to hit theaters June 11th, and she just signed a deal with E for another reality show, and her Wikipedia site is 10 pages long. My special guest, the incredible Joan Rivers. Now, you played Atlantic City. Did you do the Steel Pier? I never did the Steel Pier. Never. I, I, I really started when they remodeled, and uh, what was the first one that Merv Griffin owned? Oh, that was Resorts. Resorts. Well, now, let's talk about Joan now. Your second season of How'd You Get So Rich, and by the way, you gave us Can We Talk, and so who are you wearing tonight? Now you give us How'd You Get So Rich. How'd You Get So Rich, and that's on TV Land, and we start the second year, May 5th, and it's better than last year, and last year was terrific. Now, this is, this is a really fun show. From, from last season, it, was there somebody that really stands out that you spoke oh, to? Oh, there's so many. You know, there, what, we, what we do is... We, we go, we meet millionaires, self-made. Everyone has to be self-made from nothing. And then we go, we look around at what they bought, and everybody lives so differently. So last year we went from uh, the guy that owns Billy Bob Teeth, who lives on a big old farm still. He owns half Illinois, and he's got his own cows and his own chickens and his own... He likes to smash cars. So he, he buys cars and smashes them. We went from him to a, a guy with an amazing private plane with three bedrooms and four and help on the plane. You know, it's just great. All of them stand out in such different ways. It, it's a tremendous show. And it, it, you know what? It, it's a feel-good show, actually, and we need more of those. It's a feel-good show because everyone started with nothing. I would not let them do anybody that was rich to start with. I thought that's absolutely wrong. This year, Donald Trump kicks off the first season. But everyone forgets that Donald's father was an immigrant who, after World War II, realized people have cars and no garages. So for $16, he'd build a garage onto your house. And then you know what? You just mentioned the Donald. In yeah. 2009, you were not fired by the Donald, but you made us all squirm. You walked out on the show. You had a feud with Annie Duke. Then you then won Celebrity back. Apprentice. And then I won The Apprentice, which was wonderful. I loved The Apprentice. That's so much fun on that show. My 2010 interview with Joan Rivers continues. Now, after that show, have you ever talked to Annie Duke again? Oh, God, no. I don't even like to use her name or bring her up in a com- to, to have her on a coattail. I speak to Donald a lot, who I really got to respect tremendously. He's a very smart businessman. You have something else coming up. And we're jumping here because you have so much going on between QVC and your appearances, but now Piece of Work is a brand new documentary on right. your life and career, and it was made as you turned 75 years old. And they followed me around for a year, and the people that did it were very, very serious documentarians. And uh, it's getting great reviews. We're now they're going to uh, release it into theaters, I think, in June. And that's exciting. It's very exciting. It's set for release uh, Friday, June 11th, and it actually won an award at Sundance. I won an award at Sundance, and now we're going to take it to San Francisco, and we're also in New York, and I'm very excited about the New York Film Festival. They show really what it's like, the life of a comedian. It's not uh, a puff piece. I wouldn't let them go and interview a lot of people. Oh, she's wonderful, because I hate that kind of interview, or I hate that kind of a, a um, documentary, because... Even Hitler would find people to say, he's a nice guy. <laughs> Who's in the film with you? Nobody, really. I mean, it's, it's my life. You'll see, it's, it's very well done. It's, it's beautifully done. It's not sit-down interviews. I hate that. If you want to see that, go watch Biography. And then it's in um, late fall, actually, uh, uh, really late fall, November. Melissa and I have a new reality show starting called Mother Knows Best. So we're going to start work on that. And that's... Uh, it's just a wonderful year. And I'm still performing all over the place. That's what's so great. Now, Mother Knows Best is your return, one of your returns to E. Mother oh. Knows Best is going to be on We. We. There's so many channels now. There's E, there's <laughs> We, there's TV Land. E, I'm doing fashion on. We, I'm doing a reality show on. TV Land, I'm doing How'd You Get So Rich. <laughs> Where do you get the energy? Uh, I love the work. Love the business. Please, I'm, oh, people just see the tip. I'm always either writing a book or I'm uh, doing a play. I always multitask because I just like every aspect of the business. Just loved your interview recently on Joy Behar, too. 
She's a good girl. She's a good friend. You are an American icon, and for me, this was a thrill having you on Atlantic well, City plugged lovely in. Lovely to talk to you again because we've spoken before. I hope we speak again soon. You're a very good interviewer. You are the best. Thank you, Joan. Thank you. Best Have a great to the day. wife. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Mark Berman is a major minor celebrity in Atlantic City. He interviews the biggest names in the music and entertainment world. And when he leaves the station, he gets asked the same question time and time again. Who are you? I'm Mark Berman, and this is my podcast.